let us discuss about loss of reflection what is the loss of reflection first you have to consider a block rectangular block this is a rectangular block this is glass block what is this this is glass block okay so a light ray is instant on this block it gets refracted so let us discuss about the refraction consider a normal what is normal this is normal a normal is drawn perpendicular to the this medium at this point okay so a light ray incident on this this is a light ray incident on on this glass lamp this is rarer medium air this is rarer medium air this is glass this is glass denser medium this is rarer medium and this is denser medium air a light ray incident on this glass surface and then it gets refracted in this way that light rays gets refracted in this way light rays gets like refracted like this okay so what is the angle of incidence here this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction so if we give the titles to this this to this components that is this is normal the perpendicular line is called normal this is incident ray and this is refracted ray what is this refracted ray and next this is point of incidence this is point of incidence so what is the first law of refraction it is, here it is what is the first one so in this refraction the incident ray and the refracted ray and normal or lie in the same plane what is the first law incident ray refracted ray and normal these three are lie in the same plane at a point of incidence at this point of incidence okay so these three are lie in the same plane okay this is the first law next what is the second law now if you construct a circle with any radius at the center of the point of incidence it cuts the incident ray and refracted ray so what is the circle let us construct it this is a circle okay with a radi any radius this is a radius of the circle and this circle is cuts the incident ray here and refracted ray here okay so what is the second law main point what is the second law here if you draw a perpendicular if you draw a perpendicular from these points this is perpendicular to the normal and from this point this is perpendicular to the normal okay so the ratio of these two perpendiculars is constant that is what is the second law here the ratio of perpendicular distance in rare medium that is air perpendicular distance in rare medium perpendicular distance in denser medium is equal to constant this is constant the ratio of perpendicular distance in rarer medium and the perpendicular distance in denser medium is constant that means if you change the angle of incidence 
if you repeat the this experiment for different types of angle of incidences the ratio of perpendicular distance in rarer medium and denser medium is constant for all values of angle of incidence okay this is the second law here you have, you have to note these two points one if your light ray passes from dense rarer medium to denser medium rarer to denser angle of incidence is always greater than the angle of refraction that is that is here it is passes from rarer medium to denser medium so the angle of incidence i is greater than angle of refraction so in second case it passes from denser to rarer denser to rarer so what is the angle of incidence here it passes from denser to rarer angle of incidence is always less than angle of refraction these are the, these are the two important terms this second relation gives the refractive index of a denser medium what is the second relation the ratio between perpendicular distance in rarer medium and perpendicular distance in denser medium is constant so this relation gives refractive index refractive index of a denser medium okay so what is the denser medium here it is glass okay so this relation notes refractive index of a denser medium Okay, the second relation gives the refractive index of a denser medium. Okay, thank you.